Okay, so that members, let us see now we have now here a prison. We are going to see how do we handle the dimensions of a prison and also angles related to that prison. But please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay, start with the telling us that the figure below represents a tent in a form of a triangular prison A, B, C, D, E, F. Where B, C, this is our piece is there, C, D, and the slanting edges are 2 meters long. So, all the slanting edges are 2 meters long. Calculate the height of the tent AP. So, the one that starts with this height AP, then they calculate the other thing. So, if I'm starting with this height AP, that's where height AP is. This is the tent here. I mean, this is the side here. Now, I'm trying to use this cardboard here. Now, you see that here, my this tent where I live. Let me use this triangle ABC. This is triangle ABC here. If I try to move it and I put it in here, so this is what I'm going to be having like this. This is my triangle. This is the triangle here. The triangle is A, B, then C. Now, you see that the one need to try to this distance here. This is P. Now I want to get a P. I am telling you that this line is perpendicular there. By telling you that this large A is SC and BC, all of them were 2 meters long. I don't know if they told me that from here up to here, from here up to here, it's 1.5 meters. Now, you see that I want to get this piece, and I'm just going to use pythagoras theory. How? I have this sign. I, I want this, then I, I don't have only up to here, but remember these ones, I divide this into two. So when I get this, divide by two, I get, uh, when you get this divided by two, you get zero point uh, seven five meters. So when I divide this by two, now when I have that, it means that the main thing is just to get now this plus this using Pythagoras theory. So here I say using Pythagoras Pythagoras. If I'm to use Pythagoras now it says that Pythagoras says that this AP squared then plus PC squared will give you SC squared. So now I need my FP, so my FP will be the square root of, when I take this that side, S squared minus PC squared. So now my FP will be now the square root of SC is 2, then minus PC, which is 0 0.75 the whole square. And then paste that on the calculator. The answer you get is so the answer you are getting is one point eight five four zero centimeters zero meters, and you give your answer for the compressors. So this is Roman numeral 1. Roman numeral 2, the one has to get the angle between BC, where is BC, BC and AC. Now we try to draw it. So you see, you said you want to get between BC and AC. So Roman numeral 2, you will need us to that cutting here. BC and AC there. Now what I want to see is that the angle between BC and BC and AC. This is the diagram here. So now, maybe this is my BC. Now it's that here in the right hand triangle there. And this is my AC. So the angle between BC, BC, and AC. This is going to be my angle theta using this diagram here. So now, you know that we are given this is 2 meters, and then we have this P, this one. We have it as, you know, the angle between AC and BC, I need to be knowing the 
this. But because I have not used this right angle triangle here, I need to know just this side. This side is 0 0.75. So the angle between PC and S is the same as the angle between S and BC. So they are going to use my tree. And if I have the adjacent and I have the hypotenuse, I'm going to use cos theta. It will be the adjacent, which is PC over the hypotenuse AC. And now this will give me my PC is 0 and 75 over 2. And so my theta there becomes cos inverse of 0 and 75 over 2. And so that angle becomes 67.98 degrees. Okay, so then I come now to my level 3, the angle between planes A, B, F, C, A, B, F, C, mm -hmm. and A, C, D. Now, it's at the angle, if I try to bring out these planes here, if you look at my level 3, the planes are telling me the angle between this, you look at these planes here. These are the planes I have. Let me do it here. The planes I have, so we look at them, you know, I'm going to agree. These are the planes I have here. And then this one. So the one we to get the angle between them, this is the angle here. This is the angle, these are the one we to get. Now, so I get that angle, so that means that I'm going to use this diagram here. This angle is the angle between the plane A, B, F, E, and A, C, D, E. So it means that this is just the angle. What am I going to do? I'm going to pull out this cutting here. I'm going to pull out this cut triangle here. It's going to be now of this nature here. So I know this is B, C, then A. So now I want to get this angle here. But remember, we are dividing this into two. What are we going to use? We have already, we have this side. So what we are going to do, we get this angle, then we know that if this is theta, then this is also theta. Because the perpendicular line divides this into two, it means that it's going to also divide the angle there into two. So my task now is to get this angle. As simple as that. Now, how am I going to get the angle? The other way is doing side rule. But now, if we are getting this angle here, now I need this one is 2 meters, and then this P here is 0 0.75. Now, maybe I need to get this theta, so I have the opposite, then I have the hypotenuse, I'm going to use now sine theta, will be the opposite, which is PC over the hypotenuse AC. Now, this will be my PC. 0.75 over S which is 2 and now my theta will be sine inverse of 0 0.75 over 2 and so my theta is going to be 45.04 degrees. So that's the angle between. The other way, someone could use sine rule here. Because you have already, you have this angle already, then you have this, so you can use this side. You have it, you have this angle and this side, you have one this, and you have also this side. So you can also use sine rule there. Then the remind me of four. The one has to be now the angle between the line C E. So the line C E and the base B C D F. Now 
we try to sketch that also. If I try to get that sketch, it's going to be here. Now, we want to get it between, this is the base, this is the base B, C, B, F, this is my base here. Then, the line C, E, is that my line C, E? It's going to be a bit up here, the line C, E. So, if I'm to draw my line C, E, remember, the line C, E, I'm assuming my point C is somewhere here. The point C. And then the point E is somewhere here. So this is the line C E. Now we say to get the angle between those two. I think it's that this C E is touching this at the point. This point is Q. Now I just need to print the projection. So the projection of this C E is going to be this is the projection to that line C E. So that this projection means that now the angle between this plane and this line is just the angle between this line and its projection. Let me call it alpha. As simple as that. So all I need to get is first of all, I need to get uh, uh, this because by the way, we have this, we don't have it. So let me first get this line C cube. Now, if I am to bring it up properly like this. Start this CQ. CQ here is the thing down there. I think you can see. So when I bring this one here, it's going to be like that. So this is C, D, then this is Q. Now we have C already. C, D is a 3 centimeter. This C, D is a 3 centimeters. And then we have D, Q. Yes, we have D, Q. This D, Q is a half D. Because this is 1.5 meter, also DQ is going to be a half of 1.5 because this side here is going to be side. So, you see that this is the diameter, so it's going to be also this side is going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.75 meters. So, now I need to get this one here. Why? Because you know, we see that 2D is a half of. Df is a half of Df. That's how we have got that one. So now, this is my CQ. This CQ squared is going to be 3 squared, then plus 0 0.75 you know, squared. Now, allow me to use this space here. Now, my CQ is going to be the square root of. 9 plus 0 0.75 the whole square. So my CQ is going to be 9 then the root. We have here at 3.0923. So now, if I have this CQ, it means that now I can get now, now I'm going to print this triangle CQE. Let me print out triangle using CQE. CQE. Now I'm going to print this here like this. That is my CQE. This time I'm here, C, Q, then E. Now it's like our two key, two E is the same one as a B. From here it's like our, using this triangle, it's like our two E is equal to a B. What was our a B? This height here. Our a B was, was 1.8. Of zero meters, then we have already our we have already our CQ. We have the CQ, yes, we have our CQ. CQ, we have got it here. Our CQ is 3.0923 meters. If I want this angle, alpha, 
means that now I have the adjacent, I have the opposite. So means there I'm going to use tan alpha. My tan alpha will be the opposite, which is 2e over the adjacent, which is c cubed. This is going to be. So from here, our alpha is going to be an inverse of, you get that to divide it. So now, the angle between the line C, E, and the frame BC is about 8.94 degrees. As simple as that, members, that's how we handle that one. I wish you the best.